welcome to our channel today we will discuss the concept of pointer to derived class okay what is the meaning of this one simply we have to declare a pointer of the derived class and by using that pointer how to access the members of a parent class and child class so derived class means we have to apply the concept of inheritance inheritance means one class acquires the properties of another class one class acquires the properties of another class consider one simple inheritance program whatever it is very simple program class sample suppose i am using the names base for easy identification base protected int n1 public void show cout n1 so what i am doing simply i am declaring a variable n1 and then print the variable now use one more class class derive colon public base so derive is the derived class in this i am declaring one more variable protected suppose int n2 here also i am using the same method void show c out here i am used printing two values why here n1 variable is from the parent class we can access the parent class members in the child class also that is the reason i am using n1 variable now here now coming to the main important thing we have to declare a pointer to derived class so the main important thing is int main derived here d is an object of the derived class remember one thing generally we are declaring an object for child class why by using child class object we can access the members of the parent class along with their own members so derive d now pointer to the question itself is we are creating a pointer to derived class so derive star p here p is a pointer of the derived class now p is equal to m person d p is equal to m person d p was address of this one suppose if you call like this p12 n1 is equal to some 5 p12 n2 is equal to some 6 p12 show so that means by using this derived class pointer p1 i can access the n1 n2 and show method if you are calling the show method both parent class and child class both contains the show method which show method is executed that is the important thing so here the pointer is of a derived pointer is a derived class type so derived class show is executed that is the 5 comma 6 is printed on the screen 5 comma 6 is printed on the screen so this is our required question our required question is pointer to the derived class and the pointer holds the object object address of the derived class now the concept is completed but i will explain some more points we have pointer and object pointer and object what are the cases base class base class base class derived class derived base derived derived these are the four cases if a pointer is base class if a pointer is base class okay this is completed i am erasing this program so within the main i am declaring like this base star p1 pointer is base class and suppose base b object is also base class object is also base class suppose p1 is equal to m person b p1 is equal to m person b by using this one we can access p1 dot n1 p1 dot show so in this case which show method is called for the previous example in this case 
the parent class show method is executed why because the pointer is of type base the pointer is of type base this is one case coming to second one what is the second case pointer is base object is derived for example derive d here p1 stores address of d p1 stores address of d in this case also we can access base class method why it mainly depends on again the pointer now coming to third one pointer is derived type for example derived star p2 p2 host address of base class remember this is invalid this is incompatible pointer is derived type object is base type that is incompatible this is not possible finally this one derived class pointer derived class object this is our equal question in this way you can form any combinations we have to remember only single point we can access the members based on the type of the pointer not type of the object by default if you are using the concept of virtual then we can access based on the type of the object okay thank you